Hi and welcome back to Down the Shed with me, Jason. So I have found the Holy Grail. <laughs> this, as you all know, my main weapon is a SA58 FAL with tracer unit. So I've taken tracer unit off the normal uh, flash hider on there. So plastic stock, plastic grip, full metal body, plastic front end, and then metal. This is basically a shorty FNFAL, or the real life version is a DSA SA58, or David Savaggio Arms of New York, I think it is. So he bangs out many different versions of this gun. Let's have a look at the other side. And apart from the fire selector having auto, which some of the FALs did have, but not the British L1A1 SLR. And the bolt cocking lever, because on the SLR, that basically, when it slams forwards, that holds down flat against the body. So they're the main two differences. The fact that this is fully auto, and the cocking lever, or lever. This is my baby, because this is the closest I can get to an FAL. At the moment, this was 240 big British pounds, or around, yeah, I guess, 280, 290 dollars. I love this gun. Uh, it's cracking gun. I do love this weapon, and um, it's a rifle, not a gun, because the gun's got the artillery toes. So this is what I found. This is a L1A1 SLR 599.99, guys, and I know where this dude supplier or where this dude got his supply from there were 50 and he has managed to secure I think five and one of those has my guaranteed name on it I've spoken with the guy today I've explained my situation where I am and he's absolutely happy to work with me that gun is mine it's got my name on it it ain't going nowhere and he's even going to try and dig me out a few 120 round mags to go with it, which hopefully will fit in that one as well, so we can have some mid caps instead of the crappy high caps. So the dream, since I first realised all about and what airsoft is, and I've been researching it, and I probably was researching from November to February, October to February, something like that, 2021. My first experience was February 22 when I went on a recce day, and then March 22, boom, that's it. So we're at our year S anniversary. <laughs> this is what a real one should look like. And again, the airsoft one. So as you can see, it's a one-to-one -one replica. Everything that's plastic on the real is plastic on the replica. Everything that's metal on the real is alloy on the replica. So basically, the L1A1, plastic hand grip, plastic pistol grip, plastic stock. You can get wood furniture for it, but I never carried a wood furniture version. We did have them. Some of the guys had them, but mine was plastic. I think it was number 63 or 73 or something like that. Um, cause they all had tipex numbers on them for in and out of the armory. Um, so yeah, that's what I carried when I served. And now I'm going to have one in airsoft. Um, yeah, so keep your eyes open for that video unboxing review shooting and then the airsoft videos of actually using it because I cannot wait to get my hands on my own L1A1 SLR I've always wanted a DAC Be when I started looking they were 500 quid and then we're talking 30 years ago now I have my airsoft replica if it breaks it breaks if it don't it don't if it I mean I have to do like this one I had to take bits apart and tighten it up but that's the blowback it just loosened everything the SLR hasn't got blowback sadly but yeah so that's an upcoming video it's going to be happening soon keep tuned watch down the shed subscribe to down the shed with Jason so um yeah it will be a most happy day and the guy and I am going to blow his whistle massively once I bought the weapon I will make a massive shout out to him and his company but I'm not going to do it until I've got my gun even though I'm guaranteed it I'm not going to give you guys a chance of figuring out where it is you want one
go and get the 800 pound one um he's also got a bit of dpm i don't know what yet i need to speak to him again but uh yeah i want dpm trousers and jacket and at three and six quid i might get two of each so anyway like subscribe share comment i'll see you soon stay tuned love you all it's bye from me